Welcome back to Blair Aesthetic. This is your favorite advice girl here to help you become your badass and confident self effortlessly. So without wasting time, I'll dive right into the advices. Whenever you find yourself making excuses for going to gym, studying, or eating healthy, then say this to yourself, my body is deserving of good care. I am deserving of having proper knowledge, and my body deserves to be healthy and pampered. Trust me, it will shift the whole game for you. Use expansive posture, girls. Put on that broad and open body posture. Signals more confidence and openness in your communication and interactions. If you have a bad posture, then your core must be very weak. So don't forget to try to stretch every morning and before going to bed. It's nothing, just psychology. Girls, don't forget to hold on your head high and chin up. Make sure you value and respect yourself whatever might come, regardless of the challenges you may be facing. Also, do make sure your chin is parallel to your shoulders. If you are a teen, make this a habit by practicing it daily. It will hurt to keep sitting straight, but, you know, trust the process. Don't give up. Know your worth, girls. Make a list of how you want people to treat you and value you. I know most of the teens are struggling to consider themselves worthful enough for some things. All you really gotta do is respect your self. If you learn how to respect yourself by treating yourself with love and care, everything will change. People will start respecting you more. Your inner world reflects into the outer reality. Stop explaining yourself. Don't need to explain unless it's someone that really is deserving to know the details. Girls, your time and energy is super precious. It's really rare. Respecting it yourself will make others respect that as well. Because I know you all are people pleasers like me. Become less available to people and more to yourself. If you feel the lowest, which is very normal, and you find yourself caring too much about others' opinions of you, I want you to think about your fave role model. Would she care? Would she be sobbing for losing someone who cared less about her? Someone that has been sitting hanging out with the people who hated her, right? That's exactly what you will do. Problem solved. Never, ever, ever convince or prove your power to anyone. True confidence is silent. You don't have to the loudest one in the room. You don't have to be the funniest one either. You just gotta be comfortable in your body and yourself. Confidence means you gotta relentlessly accept yourself. It's all inner work. Accepting your imperfections without judging them, doing what you say you would do, thinking less and doing more, reminding yourself daily of your power and abilities. Honestly, true confidence comes from trust and honesty with yourself. Speak louder, not higher, which means focus your speech on speaking clearer rather than speaking by increasing the pitch of your voice, because otherwise you will feel drained and tired quick. Confident people don't expect others to listen, but they focus more on making their points clear and understandable. Also, in that way, you will save up much of your energy for the next conversation. Life is too short to hate our own selves. You're the main character of your life book own that shit and in the end nobody cares and you should too thanks for coming this far if you like what i do then subscribe and be a part of our positive community